Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can customize your WP LMS footer. So might be you, uh, you will be struggling around that how you can resolve this issue. But in this video, you will be getting the complete solution of the problem. So actually, I was also facing the issue like I wanted to add some useful links to my footer, but I was not getting any way to solve this problem. So let me show you, for example, I have this website and you can see that uh, on the bottom here I have added useful links contact sign up privacy policy and all and here we have other things as well all right so how you can add uh, some other links I mean uh, some uh, useful uh, you wanted if you wanted to set a menu then how you can add that one into the WP LMS and one more thing is like I have imported the template and the home page also I have imported so you know that uh, all the details above you can see over here those are uh, stored in the database in the serialized way you know so this is little bit difficult to customize over there so how what's the solution for this one is like you have to create a menu first of all so for example you can see over here I have the preferences here yeah appearance and once you are clicking on appearance then you can you will be getting menus so first of all you have to create a menu of the links which you wanted to add into the footer for example whom about and contact us and other uh, links uh, which you wanted to add into the footer so uh, you can see over here I have uh, this top menu this is the name of the menu and uh, you know that if you are interested to create a new one so you can also do that one let me create a new one create a new menu you have to click over here and then after you have to add all those useful links which you wanted to add yeah I'm gonna create a new one first of all let me name it test menu for example so I'm gonna click on create menu so once you are creating a menu then you can see that our in the drop down here you will be getting test menu so now you have you it is already selected so now what you are going to do is you will be adding it in footer menu so one more thing we have to do here is we have to select all those things for example I am adding here home then about blogs and then we have uh, contact all right so I am gonna click on add to menu so all those would be added to uh, menu here so let's see yeah great so now I'm gonna save it So once this is saved then you have to go to uh, appearance again so here we have the appearance then you have to click on widgets so here in the widgets you can see that top footer sidebar all right so here I have already added few things like you can see over here text buddy course and navigation menu right so on the bottom here you will be getting navigation menu here so let me search it navigation yeah this is the navigation menu so I am gonna drag from here this one so I'm gonna add it over here so you can see that navigation menu and I'm gonna add it uh, test menu and now you have to select specific menu which was like test menu you can see and then click on save So once that is saved then you need to click on done so now let me refresh this page and at the bottom you will be getting that menu now 
I hope so. Yeah, great. So this is the test menu that we have just created and you can see that all the links are over here which we have added into our menu. So I think that you got the basic understanding that how we can customize the footer links of the WP LMS and this is really useful. So I am also interested to add an uh, add a logo uh, over here instead of this uh, text. So how I can do that one is like I will again go to the widgets and here you can see that I have used the text. So I'm going to remove this one. So let me yeah i'm gonna delete this one and now you can see that this has been deleted now yeah this has been deleted now so now you have to go down and here you will be getting uh image right so i'm gonna drag this one all the way to the top yeah so i have just put the image over here so i have to, to keep it on the top so i'm gonna add it over here and then i have needed a an image here so for example i am interested to use the logo so here would be the library and for example i am adding this one so then I need to click on add to widgets and here I am writing logo and then you need to click on save. So once that is saved and then you need to click on done a link. Yeah, this one done and now you are good to go with the with the website. For example, now I am going to refresh this page and you will find out. that if I am going down and you will get this logo image as well so that means we are successfully able to uh, add our logo as well as the menu on the footer of the WP LMS ad, uh, theme and you know that this is one of the best thing that we are doing here because we needed this type of customization in, into our website so maybe if you have any client and someone else uh, so of course they will have needed this uh, feature so you can add in this way because you know that if uh, sometimes we uh, stuck with this uh, issue because these are really an important aspect of our website because at the footer uh, we have always needed to uh, provide some navigation to our users so of course i tried my best to uh, explain you i think if you are getting any issue uh, on the way then you can uh, contact me uh, i will be adding the whatsapp number on my description as well as you can also write the comment i will be trying my best to reply in the comment section all right so i will be also showing you that how other things are going to be uh, customized like logo and all but for now you can uh, uh, you can all uh, you can all uh, implement this one so actually the problem here is like all the things are static and uh, these are stored in the database so that's why we are facing the issue so maybe you uh, solved this problem which you were facing uh, just now regarding the footer links so thank you so much for watching this video so please subscribe my youtube channel and also like this video and if you have any question then write uh, below in the comment section i will definitely try my best to uh, to give you the reply and i have also developed this educational website so if you are interested to uh, create something like this then you can also uh, tell me i will be helping you out with this one and you can see that over here there are a few courses which i have added here if you wanted to see something a bit so you can see that all the things are over here i have uh, created the course and below we have the description then we have videos and all so if you are thinking that you needed such type of website you can also contact me i will definitely try my best to help you out with this one and feel free to contact me anytime so thank you so much see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free.
So in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things. Please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos. In the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.